Good morning. It is 10.53 a.m. on Sunday, January 24th, 2021. I'm Christiana Ellis and I just got up. This is five more minutes. So definitely this is another day where it's like, yep, got up to take the dog out, back to sleep. Uh, I also actually, just before recording this video, was looking at some photos and videos of my niece who lives in Colorado. Uh, there is a cool site that I believe I've mentioned before called Tiny Beans, which it, it seems great for photo sharing a bit like Facebook would be, but for like a much more controlled private network and, you know, avoiding the actual Facebook. Um, so basically because I am on, you know, like the little trusted mini network in there um, for, for my brother, uh, I get to see pictures of my niece every day. They put up stuff pretty regularly. It's great. Um, especially since, you know, I don't live nearby and I haven't been able to travel there even as much as I would have in a normal year. So in there's, there's parts of me that occasionally, I think one of the things that, uh, about COVID, you know, that, uh, makes me the most sad is, is not getting to see her in person as much as I would have liked, um, I'm, I'm very lucky in the sense that uh, no one I know has been uh, made really seriously ill by the by COVID so far. But, uh, you know, it's just always one of those things that could be worse. So I'm not uh, going to be um, lose that perspective. But nonetheless, I would have liked to go and hug my niece a little bit more than I have been able to because... Uh, you know, she's been getting bigger in this whole thing, but, uh, it's great watching these videos and watching her go through these developmental stages. Like she's full scale toddler now. Um, and she's talking a lot and I guess in my head, it feels like it, she seems really young for that to happen, but I guess I don't really know what the actual expected terms are but she she can say an awful lot of things and at this point uh, a lot of those things are you know she's kind of in in parrot mode um, as in like hey you know uh, hey sweetie do you want to do you want to come uh, into the garage and she goes come into the garage and uh, it's like yeah we can uh, see all the things see all the things that sort of thing but uh, she, you know, her pronunciation is getting better. She's interested in sorting things by color and size, and she's just the cutest. Um, and it's very sweet. And I, I, I like looking at those pictures and videos. Um, yeah. So anyway, I was just doing that. I'm not sure I have much else to say about that, except just that, you know, I'm, I'm looking forward to when you know, we can all travel again. Here in Massachusetts, I, I looked up like the vaccination timeline. And given that I'm not, uh, um, you know, I don't have any like substantial risk factors, like, you know, based on age or anything like that. And that I don't work in one of the, uh, like, like I have a job where sometimes I do need to go into work. Um, and in fact, the, the fact that, uh, the, you know, we work on medical stuff probably would have me slightly more to the front of the line and some, um, under some metrics, but it does look like probably I wouldn't be able to actually get the vaccine un until, um, until it's open to the general public. Like I don't actually slot into any of those officially named, uh, other categories. So it's probably April based on their current timeline. Hopefully that will uh, accelerate and uh, I'm looking forward to getting it myself, but just because, you know, just for everybody's sake, I, you know, I'm really looking forward to when we can start opening things back up a bit more and, you know, travel be safer to just be a casual thing and not something that's just in case of emergencies. Because I want to go see my niece. Um, but yeah, I, I, I would urge any of you who don't know, go ahead and uh, you can probably pretty easily Google whatever the current um, 
vaccination plans are in your state, you can find out how they're how they're currently distributing it and uh, when you will qualify. And uh, we can actually start making plans. What? Mm. Anyway, I'll, I'll go ahead and uh, leave it there. I hope all of you are doing well, and I'll talk to you all tomorrow for five more minutes.